What's going on folks? Welcome back. Uh, plan for today's video is I'm going to fix my jet sled. Uh, this jet sled is probably 14 years old. It's the first jet sled I've ever bought. And uh, it is well past uh, being able to really use functionally out on the ice. It has holes all through this thing. And, uh, it really fills in with snow and slush. And uh, I'm going to plastic weld this today. It has two big holes right here. I did do some work yesterday. Um, kind of pre-work for them uh, bigger holes. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but I already did some welding here. And uh, it came out fantastic. Um, it's nice and strong. This was a fairly decent hole right here. And now uh, this one over here was was uh, pretty big as well. So I figured instead of going out and buying a new one, because this is kind of the perfect size, I do have a bigger jet sled and a smaller one. This is the uh, medium size. I use this one the most. So instead of going out and buying a new one, I figured I'd just put the uh, plastic welder to use. Um, but as you can see, this one is pretty beat up. These are going to be a little challenging because this plastic is really flimsy up through here. Um, it's really in rough shape. And as you can see here, this was uh, some duct tape. That's probably 10 years worth of duct tape. And uh, duct tape on this side. I tried duct tape and it only got maybe half a season out of it. I did try doing some fiberglassing on that. And uh, the fiberglass held maybe a year or so. I think I did fiberglass two seasons in a row and uh, pretty much abandoned it after that because it just didn't last. But I think the uh, plastic welder is gonna work, FYI. Um, this is a broken plastic welder. Um, I think this was like 14 bucks and I had a 20% coupon, so pretty much got my use out of it. Um, as I was finishing up the back end yesterday, this tip broke off and I was pretty much gonna trash this. But uh, I kinda actually found, just using this flat surface, um, works pretty good. So even with this broke, it's still plenty functional. But uh, we're gonna get right into it. Um, kind of a rule of thumb when you're doing plastic welding is you wanna look for plastic that is HDPE number two. This is high density polyethylene. Um, this stuff is probably your best bet. Milk cartons are uh, number two and that'll work. And you can also pretty much just use the plastic that comes on the sled. Like I could take a little bit of this lip here. Um, I could cut a little bit of this lip off and probably use that. But I'm gonna use some of this. And what I used yesterday was the actual plastic that came in the kit. This stuff actually worked really well. It's real flexible, but once you weld it in and it, it heats up and dries, it's actually really rigid. So I'm gonna do kind of half and half just to show you guys how this works and how you can also use just a junk bucket that's laying around your house. So just a few tips before we get into actually welding this. On this real thin plastic, it's not gonna take a lot of heat to melt this. And if you heat too much of an area, this will sag. So you're gonna see me bouncing around a little bit. And that's just because I don't want one area to heat up too much. But I'm going to get the plastic welder heating up and then we're going to get right into it. And I'm just kind of mapping out where I want to start. It's really weak even up past this crack. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start here. A little bit of a, a channel there. And what I'm going to do is start here and work my way down. And I don't know if you can see but there's a crack going right on this ridge. I'm going to start right here. And... As you can see, that melts that down nice and quick. And what I'm doing is just kind of pushing it. Like I said, I don't want to spend a lot of time in one area. This plastic is super weak. And like I said, I'm gonna bounce around a little bit. I'm just trying to get that crack. And what you kind of want to do is you want to heat up the actual sled plastic and this plastic at the same time so they bond. If you're noticing you're not getting a good bond, it's because you're not heating up the sled plastic enough. And as you can see, I'm moving pretty quick. Not spending a lot of time in any one area. All right, that's all I'm gonna do for right there. I'm gonna let that kind of set up for a minute or two and I'm gonna work this area right here a little bit. And you can always go in and you know shave this off if you feel like you have too much you can always go in and shave it off so 
So we're going to swap over to this side. Going to let that sit for a minute. All right, so now we're on to the other side. Now this one is actually starting to curl up a little bit, and them curls should come down with the heat. I'm going to start here, and I'm going to drag towards the cut. Again, if you're not getting a good bond, it's because your sled plastic isn't hot enough. Right, so all I'm going to do right there, I'm just going to spread this around just a little. We're going to leave that section alone, and we're going to work up here just a little. Same thing, I'm starting kind of away from the hole, and I'm working towards it. actually laid down really well all right now we're back to the first side this has completely set up so I'm just gonna do a little bit of work over here and these are gonna be difficult um, these are really big holes thin plastic so I'm just gonna have to do a lot of bouncing around waiting for one area to cool working on the other and vice versa so now I'm going to see if I can make just a little bit of a bridge right here. I know I'm not going to get a good bond in the middle, but I'm just looking for some material to set up. Start closing that hole a little bit. There, so if you see that, that's going to set up. And I'm just going to work my way around. Same thing. I'm just going to see if I can set up maybe like a little bridge right here. Okay. I'm going to let this area set up going back to the other side. I'm going to try just doing a little bridge down here where it's a little more stable. And in case you're wondering, this smoke isn't actually getting in my lungs. It's got a little bit of a wind and it's actually, I'm setting up so it's blowing it away from me. Because you don't want to, you don't want to breathe this stuff in, not good for you. Alright, that actually weren't bad. I'm going to let that set up. We're getting there. This is just kind of the foundation we're laying down. And it flipped up a few times there because the, the sled plastic weren't hot enough. So if you notice it's not sticking, that's why. Let me see if we can fill in this little hole right here. So this is back to the first side that we started on. This is going to look pretty ugly to start with. You know, this isn't going to look really pretty um, until you get this thing all finished off and you can really um, finish this down. But you can see this hole is already shrinking substantially. You know, we're making good progress. All right, so this is back to the second side. And this is where I worked um, that second time ago. You know, every every repair is going to be a little different. You're just going to have to kind of um, troubleshoot it and and see what works best for the given repair. You know, these are pretty big holes. You know, I like I said, I've had this sled a long time. You know, it's better to get these before it turns into a big problem like you know these were. I'm going to see if I can get this little crack here. I can really feel this kind of building up stability. All right, so the remaining hole here is just about the width of this stick. So I'm gonna see if we can get this locked up 
with this last weld here. All right, here you go guys. Here's the two welds. This is the first one. This is the second one. So we have the, the sled flipped over. I'm gonna take a quick look at our welds. Try my best to show you. It looks pretty good. I did have some, um, some of that welding material come in through the hole, which is great. It's nice and firm. I'm pushing on it. It's not even budging. Um, this flap here was the sled. So All right, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start laying some plastic I don't know if you can see it, but this was the main part of that crack, and it's pretty well, um, but it's pretty well solid now. But I'm going to start here. I'm going to start this weld here. Then I'll actually get into smoothing this out. Like if you see that nub, I'm going to get that smoothed out. But this part should go pretty quick. And same thing. I'm just going to do a little bit each side. Then I'm going to move over to the other side. All right, so off camera, I just cut up some of that bucket. This is the number two HDPE. I'm just gonna cut this into a little smaller of a strip and I'll show you guys how you can use this. It works the exact same way. I'll show you guys this. It's the same thing, just heat this up. I find this uh, number two HDPE pretty easy to work with. Um, I just use them sticks because, I don't know, they're a little easier so I don't have to cut up, um, you know, the buckets, but. As you can see, it lays down nice and easy. And you give that a couple minutes, and that's going to seal right down, no problem. Okay, what I'm doing now is I'm just flattening some of this weld that came through. Trying to get this smoothed out a little bit. I didn't put any new material. This is just what came through with that initial weld from the other side. a little funny just because it kind of formed into this groove I don't know how well you saw that so I hope that shows like once you get this plastic heated up and it starts really getting smooth um, it just lays down just like glue and it doesn't take much for this plastic to heat up all right there you go that looks pretty good all right i'm gonna try to get this done before my phone dies um, for some reason i'm getting a little bit of a shot with my phone I'm going to smooth out the bottom side of this here. This is where I initially started. And I'm going to try to get this ridge. It looks pretty pretty gnarly. But after a couple minutes work, that's going to lay right down nice and flat. See that's flattened out already? Not looking quite as rough as it did. There, see that? See how that's looking much better? All right, just a quick touch up right here. A little bit of a depression. I'm going to see if I can fill in. This is right where the main part of that hole was. Now you want to be careful that you don't put too much heat in this area because you don't want this area to start sagging after you just fixed it. So you want to just be um, very careful you know, with this last final step. And that's all I'm going to do for that. I'm going to let that set up and we're going to go out we're going to go flatten the other side. But see that looks alright. I got to do a little bit of flattening out here but I want to 
leave it alone for now. Here's a shot going down. It's, it's hard to um, really show how good this lays down. I mean, that's actually a decent shot right there. That's from the side. And this is kind of side top. I'll give you a quick shot of this one. See, not too bad. Came out pretty good. I'm just going to do one final check here. All right, folks, there you have it. I think we're pretty well patched up. Them two big holes we have are patched up. Um, that's pretty well flat. It maybe looks like a big mound of plastic, but it doesn't really come up above at all really where it's supposed to. You know, you can see that's pretty well flat there. But you know, I, I tried my best to, to show you guys you know, how to do this. It's really easy, it's cheap. You know, this whole process took maybe half hour. You know, and the, the price of jet sleds now are just climbing, climbing, climbing. So, um, you know, I feel like half hour well spent. But it's pretty easy. I mean, just all basic stuff. You know, this uh, cheap Harbor Freight tool worked pretty good. Even with a tip off, I found it actually worked a little better. Um, this plastic that it came with is surprisingly good. This stuff works really well. But, uh, yeah, that's how you fix a jet sled with a broken Harbor Freight plastic welder. You know, for... 12 or 14 dollars i mean it gets the job done it actually did better without that tip but that's basically it guys we're gonna wrap it up there if you guys have any questions feel free to ask i'll try my best to answer them but we're gonna sign off for now we'll catch you guys soon